You're listening to the Big Story with Danish on and WR Live. Now, time and again, Congress and this time Rahul Gandhi has talked about something which uh, in a lot of countries people don't talk about it: use of words like fascism, use of usage of a leader of that time, Hitler. Now, Narendra Modi has been compared by Rahul Gandhi to Hitler. To talk about it, we have national spokesperson of the BJP, Minakshi Lekhi. Ma'am, welcome to the show. Thank you. Ma'am, I remember speaking to you when this entire uh, controversy had started uh, regarding fascism, and you said, uh, you know, quite a few things about it. Now, again, this topic is again coming out. A well, comparison of uh, Rahul Gandhi visits Gujarat and does the comparison of Narendra Modi to Hitler. Now, if I remember, uh, BJP stand is quite clear. They say that the biggest Hitler which uh, India has witnessed is Indira Gandhi. So, how would you react to it? No, my reaction is very simple. I think uh, these issues are brought out when they have nothing else, and they have lost the complete uh, ground. And everybody knows they have manipulated the history. They have manipulated banned books. I mean, Red Sari was a book on his mother. which was banned and uh, the history of his own grandfather is what i think he needs to read a bit more because uh, as per the news reports his grandfather fought with uh, he was a soldier a special soldier because there was a special section of uh, specially trained soldiers bensham solanis army and uh, i used to remember the name of the core also in which he worked Hmm. and that gentleman fought next to next uh, uh, with hitler in the war of war mark so i think uh, a family which has a history of uh, hitlerian tendencies and have in fact worked with them should not be speaking about others because had mr modi been hitler then i'm sure people like uh, mr gandhi and others uh, who have been managing and manipulating the media they could not have done that So, do you feel that so easy to use words like fascism and Hitler in Indian context? No, it just shows. It shows just shows. Uh, you, you see, the, the two ways of looking at it. One is that person is actually illiterate, doesn't understand the words, does no mean, doesn't know the meaning, has done no reading. That's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is that you are too astute. You are the real goibles who are floating the false messages about others. and you don't give credit to the word itself and you can loosely use it against anyone who you despise and what about when when it it said that uh, in in the times of emergency that was the situation you when you see the that's what i'm saying in the history of modern india if anyone has any knowledge would know that fundamental rights of all the citizens were suspended and were taken away people were not just put behind bars but several murders and so many things happened and it was all state sponsored and because of that there was a commission called shark commission nanavati shark not nanavati shark but shark commission which was uh, started to go look into the atrocities of uh, emergency that report was not even tabled and and uh, uh, they actually saw to it that shark commission's report got destroyed and uh, i know of it because of uh, the fact that uh, uh, somebody from my own family was the prosecutor hmm. and when when rahul gandhi visits gujarat and you know this was the second time or uh, probably the first time when he visited after the dates have been declared now he yes. clearly talks about that nothing has actually happened whatever has happened has happened for few 10 to 15 industrialists and it's their houses which are shining the rest of gujarat is still in dark in the complete darkness which is there when he went yeah. and spo- when he went and spoke to uh, the workers who work in the salt industry salt manufacturing industry now i can i can only laugh about uh, uh, the person and uh, say that uh, uh, the people of gujarat have answered it right do you want more answers i'm sure the gujarat performance is going to be repeated by the people of this country and just wait for one and a half two months to get the answers to all your queries so then is it i mean that that's the only thing left for the congress party to uh, absolutely they, they are a sinking ship even the rats have started leaving them so uh, there's no way they can stay afloat they can only get some um, media coverage by talking nonsense and that is what they are doing and showing their own shallowness more than anything else and 
Uh, and I think it's a very stupid strategy for the simple reason whenever they will talk about somebody's fascism, people will pull out the data against his own family. His grandmother, the paternal grandmother called Indira Gandhi, and maternal uh, grandfather uh, who was uh, working in the Masolini army. So that, that will be repeatedly pulled out with dates and dates. A um, lot of youngsters who who will be the first time voters, and you know these are the things or the second time. No, I think first time voters are very smart. First hmm. time voters are really smart. They are not going to buy into these kind of gimmicks because uh, I have been interacting with a lot of youngsters, and uh, they actually may have uh, some very serious questions. They may have some confusions, but they are willing to find the answers and go to the facts. So they, those who don't know the facts about emergency will go and find out the facts about emergency and they will all know that uh, a country, an autocrat, uh, an autocratic prime minister can actually suspend the fundamental rights of uh, citizens and that is the kind of danger this family has put India through. So when when when, when we talk about Hitler and or, or the or the entire ideology of fascism, do you think, it hmm. can it be put into Indian context? No, no, Indian context is very, very clear. You see, the gentleman doesn't know the word, doesn't know the meaning of fascism, doesn't know the meaning of, uh, uh, or, or doesn't want to recall the history, and uh, can continue to talk about uh, uh, Hitler with this ease. I think if Jews have to be compared, then Hindus of this country need to be compared with the history of Jews anywhere. Because if Jews were annihilated, has anyone written the history of Hindus? How Hindu genocide has been happening for centuries? Hmm. I think I would, I would ask uh, Mr. Gandhi to uh, uh, appoint a commission on that. Hmm. And... and is it is it uh, right to what he's doing of of doing a no, comparison? It is, it, is, it is tearing the fabric. You see all all these kinds of. But I think that is not the area of interest. The area of interest is no botheration with fabric. There is no botheration with the uh, function uh, with the fundamentals on which a country should be working. There is something very very apparent and clear, and that sinister motive is that somewhere, somewhere. Uh, this uh, particular family needs to be saved whether you create up, whether you break the uh, fiber of this country, whether you use communal violence, you, you, do, you do anything, appeasement to violence to whatever, only this family's interest needs to be protected, rest everyone can be ducked and chucked. So you feel this is just before the elections, we have uh, another less than 100 elections days? Elections are very relevant. Elections are very relevant for the simple reason people are fed up with the system of governance. 60 years of misgovernance this country has gone through. But it just can't continue any longer. No, I'm, I'm trying to say that before the elections, the Congress party wanted to bring in the communal violence bill. Now That's talking right. now, right. now, now talking about Hitler. So do you think is it? That's right. Those are fascist acts. The fascist acts are that anybody who speaks against you put that person behind bars, and that is what they have done. The the way you manipulate the legal system. Ishrit is dead and gone. She was a terrorist. The government files ten thousand page docket to the Pakistan. You can continue with all that. How many lies? How many lies? It doesn't matter to you what the truth is. What matters is rhetoric and sloganeering, and that too on serious issues like fascism, Hitler. And if a Hitler is working in a country, is this not against India? Is this not against the fact that uh, a chief minister of an independent India can be abused in this fashion? Is that not an abuse on the democracy which this country follows? Is it, uh, you know, when, when because you're an advocate yourself, ma'am, do you think, is it uh, unconstitutional to call a head of a state in, in terms like... That, that is my point, because that is against the democratic norms of a country. He's a democratically elected prime min uh, chief minister. 
is a prime ministerial candidate and very soon all you may know he will be the prime minister of this country using this language is not just unconstitutional illegal but shows the malaise that you don't even care how you're projecting india how is the fastest working in a country hmm. and that you call democracy how would you react to this when in the aicc meet rahul gandhi told that all the national spokesperson or the state spokesperson of the congress shouldn't talk about the opposition leaders with uh, harsh words and use unconstitutional no, parliamentary it, it just language shows what you what you preach you don't practice because it's salman salman khurshid also did the same yeah yeah salman khurshid was worse but shows what who he is more than anything else shows what these people stand for Do you, ma'am do, do you feel that going abroad studying in England and coming back and using such language because both of them did go to England and study No just shows they are British just shows they can abuse the country and uh, they really don't care about the country they can exploit Indian Indians and Indian hood that is what British did and that is what these two gentlemen are proving to Right do. Right. Ma'am, I want to thank you for taking out the time and coming on to the program. Thank you very much. You. Bye. So that was national spokesperson of the BJP joining us and talking about who is the Hitler. And that is the controversy and that's the situation which Rahul Gandhi has steered again calling Narendra Modi as one. But you heard it in the words of Meenakshi Lekhi, don't go anywhere. There's a lot which is going to happen. You too can be part of this discussion by simply tweeting us. Our handle is at nwr underscore live. Write your mails to contact at nwrlive dot com. And you're listening to the big story with Danish.